15, 20 minute, 30 minute nap gets you into the beginning of that stage where you will emerge more alert because a part of your brain that's always alert has got a chance to take a little breather. You go a little too far, you make it 45 minutes, find out for yourself because how long you spend in these different cycles, and by the way, during the day it changes. This here is maximum REM. As the day progresses, there's less and less and less REM that's a part of those various cycles. That's why when we start sleeping, there's not as much REM that first time around, but as we sleep more, the REM becomes more and more a part of it. So depending upon when you take your nap, might vary how you feel after 30 minutes or 45 minutes or 20 minutes. So you'll explore for yourself, but be aware of the time you did it, not just how long you did it to get a sense of it. But yes, 15, 20 minutes, 25 minutes, 30 minutes, 35 minutes, see for yourself. And when you find that you wake up groggy, you've gone, that got you into stage three. Here is this very interesting period of time. If you can between one and three, if you're a very early person, maybe it's a little bit earlier. If you're a late, late person, maybe it's a little bit later. But right in here, your body is saying to you, sleep. And these cycles are not affected by coffee. They're not affected by stimulants. I mean, you can, your body will, will be like, okay, that's fine. But it's not like they change. It's not like they subside or they go up. The case it's done. They're doing the same thing. So take advantage of this time that might be the optimal time. Classes, of course, may preclude it or whatever the case may be. But this may be an optimal time to just close your door if you have an office or just sit in the library and go into. I know there's some very quiet rooms that people do sit and just want to fall asleep. I hope that one day this university and this law school has a room that's specifically intended for that, and I wouldn't be surprised if that happens sooner than later. Uh, so this is the time to explore that larger, longer period of time. Uh, you can explore it any other time, but this is the time that appears to be where the body is most ready for that. And the idea of making it up, when you make up the sleep, try and go to bed a little earlier. They find that when people are major athletes, and they completely deplete themselves. They did a study where they had like a super marathon, like 56 miles. As soon as they went to bed, guess what sleep they jumped into very quickly. They very quickly moved and spent an extended period of time in what stage? Three. Stage three, exactly. When students were studying for finals, a serious studying of finals, memory, learning, and then went to sleep after being up for a long time with a series, I think many days of studying for finals, what stage sleep do you think that they spend their lot of time in? Yeah. The brain naturally goes toward that which is called for. So if you find that you've got this debt that you want to pay and you feel it, and among other things, you tend to feel it if you allow yourself to feel it, go to bed a little earlier. Don't sleep later. Go to bed a little earlier. Don't sleep later. Don't expect to make it up in one day. That's usually not the way it works. Make it up in two days. And let your body be the guide.